Anyway, I got a quick showing of some pickups. Just a few things from the Hall of Fame PC. What's up, pup? Should just take our nap. <laughs> awesome dog. Anyway, um, check out the stuff I got on the plate right now. But update on the contest. 3,500 subscriber contest. Just giving away some money. Uh, just because. Just giving something back. So, not really a contest as much as just a fun entry type deal. So, can't call it a sweepstakes because that's illegal, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh, get in on that if you want. You can just post on the video. I'll link it below. You can post on the video to win, or you can make a video to win. There's three different ways to win. So it's giving away a little bit of cash for you to add a card to your collection or a box to your collection, and uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Later. I got this nice cut in of Joe Suell from New York. It's out of 10, as you can see. Nice quality cut autograph, good autograph. Uh, I was reading the back and stuff, so. Obviously knew he's a Hall of Fame member, which is why I bought it. But the story on the back says that he struck, he has a major league best. He only struck out one out of every 63 at bats. And then apparently he credited that to using one bat his entire career, which in my estimation is probably a little bit of an exaggeration. I'm sure that's not true. But let's say he used three bats in his career because it used to be, uh, the wood used to be bone different. It was um, a, a different way of cutting it down. It wasn't machined. It was by hand and stuff at one point. Uh, although there was early, you know, there was lathes back then, but not everybody laid their bats. So uh, obviously H and B was around back then, and Worth and Rawlings was started up already, and Spalding. So there's a lot of people making bats. But the reason I mention that is because think of all the game used bat relics we get of these old timers. I mean, I have like seven Ty Cobb pieces. You know, I got one, or yeah, I think just one of Babe Ruth. And you know, you think about these old old timers. You got a Hannes Wagner bat card. Uh, you know, did they really have the bats available on the market for them to cut up? I mean, some we know because they go to public auction. You know, they sell for $1.2 million and you see that Tops or something bought it. Then you know they bought it to cut it up, so it makes a little more sense. But some of these guys like this guy, like if I got a game used bat card of him at any point, I'd be pretty damn, uh, I don't know, distrusting, I guess. Considering he said he only used one bat in his whole career, I doubt that one bat got cut up, so... Anyway, just something to think about, but it's a cool piece for the Hall of Fame PC either way. Alright guys, I'm pretty excited about this card. So, obviously it's an old timer, Frank Chance. It's numbered out of 10, out of Diamond Kings, new Diamond Kings. So, had to get this when I saw that it popped up. I couldn't believe they had some game used relics of his. I was really surprised and happy, so I put in a ridiculous bid, hoping nobody else would try to snipe and make me pay five times the real value or whatever. So. I put in a bid, I figured three times what it would sell for, and it sold a little high, but nowhere near what I put in, so had to get this card. There's something extra special to this, so I needed him for the Hall of Fame PC, he played for the Cubs. <clears throat> so what's special about this is it completes the third leg, and you guys that are kind of baseball historians, hobbyists, you know, that know the old-time baseball stuff, like I've read about this, it's been in documentaries and stuff, so I might be slightly off on the years, don't hate me for that, I didn't research it, but I've heard it many, many times. There was a poem in 1910 about these Chicago Cubs infield. And it was the most famous to this date, and that's why the poem was written, the most famous triple play combo in MLB history as far as knowing the people and stuff. I mean, even today, I don't think there's anybody more famous than those three guys. So I completed the three legs of it from Chicago. Um, let me see here. They started, they played together for like 10 or 11 years. So it was like 1902. To 1912, I believe. And it was. There's Joe Tinker, Johnny Evers, and Frank Chance. And it was always said, Tinker to Evers to Chance. Double play combo. Pretty thrilled to have all three. So I've had these other two here for a while, waiting on something of Frank Chance to come up. I almost bought a cut once, it was extremely expensive. Um, you know, so I was just waiting for something nice to come up to add to my Hall of Fame PC and it's cool because it completes this Famous double play combo. So you Cubs fans. These were your infielders the last time you won a World Series Roughly 110 years ago Something like that. It's in that ballpark So, uh, yeah Pretty cool Figured I would add this one into the mail day. So just an Aaron Dobson, jumbo patch, never game used, not even seen by Aaron at any point in his career. 
uh, but you know, Marshall guy. So I bought it, patched up great. It's 20 bucks, which is probably overpriced, but uh, yeah, happy to add it to the Marshall PC.